The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Chapter 7, verse 27, Proverbs 7, 27. This one. I want the men to read this one. Men, are you here? Read this one. Ready, go. See, her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death, the house of the adulterer, the prostitute. You think that, see, if you indulge in these things, it will captivate you. Then it will destroy your soul, invariably your very life, to lead you straight to the grave and to death. This grave is not just dying, but it is a grave of the soul. So what do we do? Be careful then. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 says, flee sexual immorality. Flee. Just stick to your heels. Be careful the literature you read. Please be careful. The films and the videos you watch. Some of you are friends to pornography, please. Don't disturb your soul. It will destroy your soul and it will take you straight to the grave. The dresses you wear. You see, sometimes people think that we shouldn't say anything, but let us say it all. Should I say it? Let me just show you, please, why we need to say this. The dresses you wear, how you carry yourself. There are certain people in this life who do not care how they dress. Don't follow them. See, they can dress with a very short knickers to this point. And then they walk at where the men are. See, and they shock everybody, but they themselves, they are not shocked. Yeah. Because they have moved to a certain realm. I'm telling you. You may think that that is nice, but listen to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14. This time, the ladies will read. This one, the ladies will have to read. And read it carefully. Oh. Don't just read it. But read it. Ready, go. There are a certain group of people, the Bible says their eyes are full of adultery. Their eyes. So don't say that it doesn't matter how short my dress is, it is their problem. Listen, if their eyes are full of adultery, so that then they move on. They never stop sinning. Once they pick you with their eyes, they will pursue you. And they seduce the unstable. They are experts in greed. They want this woman and that girl, that girl, that girl. And sometimes they brag about that. Listen to the celebrities, the boxers. Some of them pride themselves in how many girls they slept with in a year. Listen to them. I've heard several. I know you have also heard it. They pride themselves. Now listen. When a man sleeps with you sexually, the Bible's description of that is humiliation. The man has humiliated you. You can later on marry the president of Ghana. But so far as that man is concerned, you are nothing before him. He 
has humiliated you. So be precious. The man has humiliated you, and he said, you are going to have a wedding. And then you are there. Ping, 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 ping. When you see that man or that boy, you see how you feel. You see that your steps will not be that straight because you, 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 so far as he's concerned, according to scripture, you are nothing before him. He has humiliated you. But you see, the standard of God is still possible to meet. First Corinthians chapter 6. This is where the whole of chapter 6 from verse 9 is talking about. So let's read from verse 12. First Corinthians 6 from verse 12. Everything is permissible for me, but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. Verse 13, please. Food for the stomach and stomach for food, but God will destroy them both. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. You realize that the context of this chapter 6, apart from maybe from verse 12, is talking about sexual immorality. Let's jump to verse 15. Let's see what is in verse 15, please. Don't you know that your bodies are members of Christ? Uh, shall I then take my members of Christ and unite them with a prostitute? So he's still talking in context of sex and morality. Then let's look at verse 16. What is there in verse 16? Don't you know that he who unites himself with a prostitute? So in the same context. But let's listen to verse 14. Or let's read verse 14. This one I want Apostle Lachu to help us to read. Please come. <laughs> he was my boss, he became my friend. <laughs> My boss who became my friend. And then his uncle was my area head. The only area head who is my friend is Apostle Barabu. Uh, when we meet, we can talk about anything. And I like him. He actually mentored me. So I want him to read this one. Verse 14. But he's now my chairman. By his power, God raised the Lord from the dead, and he will raise us also. Verse 15, the next verse. Verse 15 please. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Shall I then take the members of Christ and unite them with a prostitute? Never. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for him. I wanted you to hear a better reading than mine. 